This video is in response to a query from a subscriber. Uh, the question was, how do you create a repeating detail if it doesn't appear in the repeating detail list? So what we're going to do is just create uh, a plan view detail for this uh, very simple four walls here. So we're only interested in one part of it. So um, straight into it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is change the scale up to 1 to 10. Uh, might be a bit big, but we'll run with it. And um, I'm just going to create some details here in this region. So I'm going to go into my annotate tab, uh, component, repeating detail component, and it's going to plunk that. Ah. Now, because I'm in plan view, I need to change my repeating detail from brickwork section to brickwork plan. So let's just do that again. And there it is. And as usual, it's in the wrong place. So let's grab that. And I don't seem to have a flip button on that. So I'll just move it over to there. OK, so that's the brickwork there. Um, but what I don't have is the block yet. Now, if I go into um, my re repeating detail components, you'll see here I have um, Block work, 100 and all these sizes here, but I don't seem to have um, block work in plan. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is effectively copy this one over. So just create a copy of that. I'll go from here to maybe there. I'm going to move this again now just to line it up a bit better. That's that bit done, and we'll just pull that to there. Okay, so I have this one in here now, but what I'm going to do is modify this. But before I get into that, what I'm going to do is load up a different detail component to use. So under component, detail component here, um, we'll see we have a fairly decent list. But what I want is in here. So I'm going into my load family, detail items masonry, um, brick block walling. And what I'm looking for is a block in plan. Or better there, see that detail items block top. And I'll click open on that. And I think those were 100. So, you know, I'm just going to grab them all and click OK. And that's a 90 mil block. So maybe we'll flip it, put it in there. And Let's see, 90, let's try 100, it's a bit wider, it's a bit better. Yeah, and that'll fit. So this is my 100 mil block now. What I'm going to do is select this one, this repeating detail here, and I'm going to do some work on it. So by first thing I'm going to do is click Edit Type, and then Duplicate. And I'm going to call this one Block Work Plan. And click OK. Now here under the detail, um, this is the where it actually picks up the picture to use. So it's going to pop in here, and with a bit of luck, we should have our block in here. And there it is, detail items blocks 100. And that came in just because we imported it. Uh, layout, fixed distance, insides. Now the next thing here is the spacing. Uh, currently set at 225. Now I'm just going to click OK on this. I know I'm going to have to fix it afterwards, but I'm going to do that just so you can see what happens. And there it is. Now, uh, you don't see much of a difference there, but what's actually happening is they're overlaying because the spacing has been left too tight. So back into it again, and we're going to push this up to 450 and see where we get. And ta-da, there it is. And that is how you do that. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so we can get rid of it. Now, it might be worth going into um, the file here, that repeating detail, uh, just the detail file, and changing the settings and the line types there. I might clean those up a bit. Now, we can do this for other things as well. So, for instance, I'm interested in putting in some wall ties on this. So, if I do that, uh, again, I'm going to follow the same process, but I'm going to cheat a little. 
Uh, I'm going to copy this again and uh, just put that to there. And what I'm going to do this time is set the wall ties as a repeating detail as well. So back to what we were doing before. Um, repeat on well, detail component. I'm going to load a family. It is going to be again in detail items, masonry, uh, accessories. Da, 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 da. There we go. It's my wall tie. Click open. Uh, let's flip that around and put it to about. Well, it's meant to be holding. It's meant to be holding some insulation there. Look, I'm going to center it off a bit to maybe here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the length of it. There we go. That'll do. Um, anything else I can do on this? So with the wall tie itself, I'm actually going to run an edit type on or duplicate this one. So duplicate. Uh, I'm going to set the length to 225. Click OK. Click OK. And that insulation spacer is not really necessary. So I might just uh, change that as well. Uh, maybe I'll put this out to... Let's have a look at what that does. Nope, can't be done. How does that look? Uh, seems to be causing a bit of a problem there anyway. Let's try 120. Okay, there's a problem on that, that part. So I'm just going to change that back to 85 and leave it alone. Anyway, um, all right, so there's my wall tie in there anyway. Um, and it has its own type, so it's, I should have changed that to length as opposed to length 2, but anyway. So I'm just going to push that to the side, grab this, edit type, duplicate, um, wall tie plan, click OK. And I should see under detail items here, I should have my wall tie somewhere. Um, the triangular tie, wasn't it? There we go. That's the one. Sorry to show you that again. There it is here. That one. Uh, again, we're going to go for fixed distance spacing. Let's push them out to maybe 900, see what it looks like. And click OK. And there we go. There's all those in place. So I'm going to hit delete on that guy because I don't need any more. I can grab this now and just push that into place. Nah, that's good enough. And there we go. So you can see all of those have now in, been put in place. Uh, if you've got a situation like I have there where you just kind of make the details too long, just push it to there maybe and drag this back. That should really be, this thing should really be up against insulation. There, there we go. We'll just leave it there. So that's it. Hopefully that has cleared things up a little bit for you. Um, thank you for watching.